Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So for this week's scraps video, I thought I would focus on one lot of scraps. So this is from one paper pad called the First Edition and it was the Forever Free. So I've already taken out the scraps that I'm going to use and I've started to prepare the five cards to do today. But this is what's left and I am noticing a difference with my scraps. They are really going down, which is great. So if you're new to the channel, maybe you've just found this video, check out the scraps playlist up here because I've got loads on there now. Some from years ago and then more um, kind of recent ones doing this series that I do every Sunday. So let's get started. So for this first card, I thought I would go back to a quilted effect. They seem to be the popular ones. I've shared two quilt effects now on, wasn't last week's, it might have been the week before and then the week before that. So I thought I would do another version. So this one is going to go onto a five by seven card blank. So this I've cut down to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then I've cut myself these pieces here, which I think were two by two, yeah. And then I've used my little Dovecraft distress tool. So I've got one left here to distress. And inside this little kind of flower head are little blades. There's all different distress tools, but you can also just use your scissors. So just open up your scissors and use the blade there and you will kind of get that distressed look. And you can go into it as much as you like. And this is really good when you apply your inks to it. So if you like to do like a shabby chic or vintage look, if you add your inks to that now, it would really grab the ink because it's exposed. But I'm just going to go around the sides here. Obviously the tool is safer than using the scissors, but um, you can use those if you don't have this. You'll get little bits falling off, but you can just blow those away. But you'll see now you get this really nice distress edge and it just seems to work really well whenever I do the quilt effect. Now I'm going to pop all of these on some foam, but first of all, I'm going to pop one in the middle, start from the middle and then just work your way out. So then I'm going to sit this one next to it, leave a little gap. That's why I've used this pink because I thought it would help this paper pop. All the bits overhanging I will trim. And then again, just going to keep laying these down. I'm going to cover the whole thing and then I've got my little toppers. I'll probably do all the sentiments at the end show you them what they're like. I'm just going to get all of the backgrounds created first. Again, then that one there. You could stop there if you want to keep these corners. Again, those quilters out there, that's a kind of effect you would do. But this one actually needs to be there because it needs to be in line with that one. So what I might do is bring that one up so the point runs completely parallel with the point on, with the top of the paper, sorry. So I'm going to move them all up a little bit actually because that way it's just going to be easier than trying to stick a tiny bit of this pattern. I actually thought I needed more. I've cut a lot more than I needed, so I can probably make another card. So, but you get the idea. So I'm going to move that one up a bit now. So I'm going to, I'm going to actually stick that one down first in the middle. And then I should just be able to, well, I might end up using them all. Oh, I do use them all. <laughs> <laughs> but there will be quite a bit I'm cutting off. To be honest, you could, you know, when we trim this one off here, you could then use that over that side. So, but for me doing the video, I'm just going to keep it like that. So there you go, I've covered the whole thing, but I'm going to pop all of these up on foam. So I'm giving it more of that dimension and a quilt effect. I want it to look, you know, very 3D. You can see there already, you get a really lovely effect. So I'm going to put some foam on the back and get that all stuck down. Okay, so I've stuck them all down. I'm just flipping it over and I'm just going to trim off the excess. So I'm actually going to keep these pieces. I'm not going to do the another card in this video, but I will keep them, put them back into that sleeve with all the other, um, you know, scraps from this collection. And you'll see me do something with these in a later video. I've got a little bit of foam there, but I'm not too worried. That can come away quite easily. And then I can just clean my scissors with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, but these ones are usually pretty good. So I'm just, it's always best to go from the back of the card because you get a much neater finish when you cut it all away. I'm going to try and come around this way so I can save a bit more of that piece there. So.
Okay, so I've got all those pieces to save for another project. But look how effective that looks. It's so good. And the fact that it's lifted on that foam, I think you really need to, you know, pop it on the foam because it really does make a difference. And then I can just stick that now onto my card blank. I'm going to use my Kalau glue here so it's nice and strong. And like I said, I will pop a sentiment on this at the end and you'll see that when I show you all of the five again. But there you go, that is card number one, a really lovely quilt effect. Okay, so for card number two, I've cut all of these strips here, which are half an inch by four and a half. The length actually doesn't matter. You can have it all different lengths. And this is a piece of five and a half squared. Now, the idea for this one has come from my desk in my craft room. So if you see my craft room tour, you would have seen that long desk that I covered and I sealed it with resin. And I cut all these strips in yellow, orange and pink and I covered it. And that's what I'm going to do on this one. So I'm just going to leave a little white gap on the, the side here and whatever the gap is there is the same gap I want to leave in between all of these pieces. Now I've already put foam on the back, put some foam strips there so it's just easy for me to do this video. So have a little, let's, have a, let's do that one there actually so we've got a nice contrast and then I can do this one coming down this way and you see I'm leaving that white gap and then this one here and then let's bring in this pink one. And then a different kind of orange. Yeah, we've got that one there, with the oranges. And then let's do, let's bring this one down here. I'm trying to balance out because there's a lot of orange there. So I'll bring this one there. So you get the idea. And I'm just going to cover this whole section. And again, put a topper on top at the end. So once you've laid down, I would kind of place them because you want to make sure you get a white border at this end as well. So I'm just going to quickly rush through. I'll probably change this around, but just so I can show you. Um, in fact, if I just do like so. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to have not enough. So actually, I'm going to move this across and move them all a little bit so I can get exactly that same white like so. So if you kind of do that first and that way I've got a nice white gap here and the same there and just yeah just play around with them. You don't have to, you could just have full strips if you want. Like I said you might want to have them shorter so you may see me cut a few down when I speed this part up um, because I don't know it just might. Although saying that I kind of like what I've done. I think I need, maybe bring that one down here. Or if I have that one up there, then I could have that down there. There we go. I think that looks really nice. So again, I've got these strips spare. I'm going to pop them in my little pouch and you'll see those feature at some point in future videos. But I'm going to get all this stuck down and then I'm going to flip it over and trim the back as I did on card number one. And there is card number two. So again, I'll add the sentiment at the end, but really pleased with that. And I've just popped it on a six by six card blank in a color, slightly orange tones there. So I thought it matched quite well. Okay, for card number three, I have punched a load of circles. So I've got my punches here, variety from different companies. And uh, this is from Dress My Craft. These I think are older hobby craft ones, but I don't think they do the shaped ones anymore. Anyway, you can use your dies as well. It's entirely up to you and you don't have to use circles. You can use any shapes. Again, I've got a six by six card blank and this is cut to five and three quarters. 
five and three quarter squared. Now for this one, I do want to stamp my sentiment first because I'm going to build the circles up around the sentiment. So it's going to be a thank you card. And I think I'm going to have it to kind of towards the bottom, but slightly off to one side. So kind of like down here. So I think I'm actually just going to have the thank first and then add the you yeah next to it so i'll just pop that one up there i'm going to stamp in black because there's black that i am using in the circles otherwise i would have maybe gone for a pinky color so now i can arrange these circles so again i want them coming off the edges and probably not going to have the black right against that one let's do maybe like that and i'm going to pop this all on foam as well so it's all lifted and you want to place down the biggest ones first so these are they're two and a half these are two and then you can feed in all of the the smaller ones i'm thinking i might not have no i think that's going to be okay and then we can pop this orange one get that right up in there again i might not need all of these i don't want too much of the black um let's get some of these smaller let's maybe do this one up here so you get the idea i'm going to play around with this and then you'll see me again pop it all up on some foam and then you want to get it as close as you can and then trim the back again but i think something something like that that looks quite nice yeah, I've got a few little circles there which I can pop away and use later. I quite like that and then it's going to be against this pinky colour there. So yeah, I'm going to get this one finished. Okay, so that's that card finished. I actually changed my mind with the card blank and went for black and just think it really helped everything pop because you saw a lot more of this white frame and against that lighter pink, I just found it got a bit lost. But I think that one has come out really well. I love it. And again, like I said, any shapes that you want, you could even tear kind of bits of paper and lift them up and have more of like a, a real distressed kind of look. There's, I just think it's a really simple but effective way. Okay, then card number four dead easy this one's it's more like a sketch card so it's just lots of mats and layers but i thought it'd look really effective and just nice to show off these i also want to mention a bit of a shameless plug during this tutorial but i've been nominated for the best blog category in the craft awards and um the closing date is on the 24th now i know lots of you have already voted which i am just blown away by and i just a huge thank you for those so if anybody would like to vote for me, it would be hugely appreciated. I will share the links below. Anyone can vote, but if you're outside of the UK, then you won't be entered into the prize draw that they do for everyone that votes. You can win, win a prize. And if you don't know any of the questions, you can just skip them. There's a little arrow, I think, in the bottom left hand corner that you can just uh, skip past. And then it will, you know, until you see the best UK blog and that's where you'll see Sam Kelpot mixed up craft. So the closing date is the 24th, which is why I thought I would mention it because there's only a few days left. But again, massive thank you to those of you that have already voted for me. Um, I would love to win. It would be, you know, huge. But at the same time, I'm just chuffed to be nominated because I didn't expect that when it happened. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that. What you can see me doing here is cutting these pieces. I'm going to give you the measurement for all the coloured pieces and then I'm just, it was just a bit quicker, I just stuck them onto the white card and um, and now you can see I'm just cutting around to give myself a little white border. So it's up to you how much of a border you give but I just think this is going to help again lift it. So you've got the largest piece is a piece of three by five this piece here is two and a half by three and a half. And then this strip is one 
by four and a half and then this piece is two by two and then this bit was one by one I think yeah one inch by one six by six card blank and then I'm going to lay these down now I want to have my sentiment here so I do need to get that probably done now uh, I'm going to use this one here this is from an old magazine one but it's got the perfect size thank you so let's take this one off here and I think yeah that's going to fit perfectly into there so before I pop it all on foam I'm going to sit this in my platform let's give that a clean first and I can have my sentiment just there so now I can get that nice and straight and then just ink that one up so I'll talk you through each one first I'm just going to I need to buy some more foam tape. I'm actually out of the foam tape, so I'm using my dots, but I've got loads of these, so it's quite good, actually, that I get to use some of these up. So place this one down. Like so. So now, because this one's going to go over here, I will glue here and just have the foam on that side. Otherwise, you're going to have it, it's going to be sloped. It won't look as good, so that bit, and then just a little bit of glue, just enough to kind of tack it in place. And I'm going to bring that across so it's got the same gap here as I've got there, just starts to balance things out a little bit. There we go, okay. And then this one here, yeah, I think I'm actually going to have it so it goes over the end of that one. So this one, I'm going to put foam on all of it. There is going to be a bit of dimension to this one, but it would still fit in an envelope. And then that one there. And then this one. So I'm going to stick that side and just have it on foam there. And then I think that one, actually that, yeah. I think sometimes when I just get it where I want straight away, that's it. I've got to just commit rather than moving it around a bit too much, which I am known to do. So I'm just going to, again take that off and pop a little bit just there and like so and then that one I'm just going to put one foam dot behind and then stick that one just there and there you have it Another really effective card, great way to show off those papers and it's all using scraps. So that's card number four. So for card number five, I'm going to be working with this sentiment. This is my kind of inspiration. So I want to have this on an angle and then I want to have diagonal strips that are all lifted. So it's kind of a bit like the one that I said looked like at my desk, but we're going to go diagonal and have bigger gaps. I actually think I'm going to have this quite far down. So I want to make sure I get this on a good angle. So I think there will do. And then it's obviously got some ink left on it there. And then, oh yeah, I forgot how lovely this one is. It's probably one of my favourite sentiment fonts, that one. There we go. Right, so we'll go with that. And then I need long pieces for this, really. So let's see. Hopefully, I've got an. Oh, yeah, good. We've got that black. And those are work towards the top. That's going to work. That's just a plain white piece. Um, okay, we're just. Oh, what's that there? That's another. Aha, perfect. Right. Okay, so I'm going to make this one a bit. Thinner. I don't need it this long anyway, but we'll go with it. Okay, so at least I've got that nice detail through there. So, but I'm thinking I might want the black 
just a bit closer. So I think I'm going to keep these all quite thin, maybe about half an inch. Let's do a couple in the black. And let's do let's do this one in half. Okay, I've got a few there. I think that's going to be enough, but I want to have, I think, the darker black one there. So let's use my foam here. And again, I'm going to trim it from behind once I've stuck them right down. So I'm sticking this right on. I'm not going to do a matte layer with this one. I'm going to literally go right up to the end of the card now you want to get it on the same angle as your sentiment so I think that's about right because now that's going to be the angle for all of the other pieces so again I'm just going to pop some strips down here and I'm just going to just continue this all the way across the card so it's a really easy one but it's just sometimes just changing the angle can really transform the overall look of the card it's up to you how much of a gap you give. I'm going to do probably just over one eighth of an inch there, actually. Um, let's just see what the backs of these are like. See that floral is quite pretty if we do it that way. And then I could have that floral one. Let's do that one in the middle there. Oh, that looks nice. And then that one will cover there. So it's just I'm working with what's going to obviously fill the you know work with the length right across the card um, and then let's do the stripe again and then I'm going to cut that back down in fact I've got that green one there that'd be nice then the black do a little bit of orange there and a little bit of orange there so I'm going to stick all that down And that's card number five. Again, I know I've said it before, but by just adding the foam, it really does transform the card, just make it a little bit special. You could pop glitter over this. You could fill in the gaps with glitter. You could put double-sided tape in there, which I've done on other scraps videos. So check that out. But I just like the angle of that one. And again, just that font, I think it's really, really nice. So as always, I'll go through all of the cards that I shared today and I finished off the sentiments. So this is the first one, which is that quilted one. And I just popped that simple sentiment in the middle just for you. With a little bit of sparkle on there as well. I didn't want to take anything away from all that lovely background. Then you've got this one here, which was inspired by my craft room desk. Really fun effect. And I've used that thank you with the silver there. That's one of the Simply Creative toppers. Again, I'll link those if I can. This one I really like. I think that really pops by adding it to the black card blank. And again, with the foam there, just helps lift everything. Then you've got this one, which is like a sketch card with all those different panels. Lovely way to show off those pattern papers together. And then lastly, very similar to card number two, but just by popping it on an angle. And I really like stamping my sentiment directly onto the card blank. I think that gives it a completely different look as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's scrap video. I think it's good that I focused just on that one paper pad because everything matches. It's actually been really easy and quick to put these together. So again, if some of you maybe struggle sometimes putting colours and patterns together, just focus on one paper pad and the scraps that you have from that. And hopefully you'll be able to make some really nice cards. Quick and easy to do, really effective, perfect for when you need a card in a hurry. But also they're great to put on the fronts of like pop-up cards, cards that are maybe meant to be displayed open. These are great, very simple, but still lovely fronts of cards that you can, um, you know, make 
pretty quickly. So as always, I'll link as much as I can in the description box below. I will have some other scraps videos popping up now. Also, if you have enjoyed today and you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you'd like to vote for me in the craft blog of the year, then I will link all of those details below as well. Thank you for watching. and I'll be back again next week with more scraps videos and throughout the week with more fun card tutorials. Take care. Bye.